safe to say that everyone has peed their pants at least once in their lifetime. Well, at least everyone that I know has. And guess what? I'm gonna tell you about my story today. So have you ever wondered why little kids pee themselves all the time? I don't know either. Looking back over my early years of schooling, I realized there's like different types of peeing kids. Yep. First off, you kind of have the kids that are owning it, really. So basically, these types of kids pee themselves, realize they pee themselves, like, on purpose, and then shoot the hand up in front of the class, and then they announce it in front of everyone. So there was always this one kid in class that would do this. And for this, we're going to call him Danny, because that's his name. Oh, miss, can I go to the office? Look at all this! <laughs> Another type of these people are the kids that are nervous and just pee everywhere. So once a week during school, we'd have a set time for show and tell. It was meant to be a recap of his whole holiday and all the fun things he did, but during it, he became fidgety. And then his pants changed color. I went to the beach. It was fun. Then I went shopping. It was fun. Then I rolled in some grass. It was fun. Then I ate some ice cream. It was fun. And then I went to... Uh, uh, It was fun. And with the last one, I would describe it as the kid that pees his pants but doesn't tell anyone. The kid just hides it and pretends that it never happened and then just goes on with his day. Okay, can you guys guess what category I was in? If you guys picked number one, you didn't get it. I was number three. Let's move on. This story takes place in the first year of school and that was kindergarten. When I first started school, my two older brothers told me about this thing that I should never do during school, and that was to go to the school toilet. Apparently they were dangerous, dark, cold, cruel, and only people that wanted to die went in there. And well, the main reason was that the toilets were disgusting. And well, you know how kids are. And since my brothers already went to school before me for a while, I kind of just trusted them and never went. I made it my mission that I would never step foot in that scary place. There would even be set times for the teachers to let everyone out for toilet time. And you were kind of forced to go. But I just went in there and washed my hands usually, pretending that I went, of course. With this set rule in my mind, it was pretty difficult one day. I really needed to pee. Class was going along as usual, and the teacher was reading us a story at this time. Oh yeah, this guy with many hats, let's read this book. About halfway through this story, I become really fidgety and kind of squirmy. And over time, I kind of ended up on my teacher's lap somehow. I don't know, I just really needed pee. Just to clarify, she was a woman teacher and I was really young. I think she was just trying to come for me in front of the whole class because she thought there was something wrong. And there was, and thank God she realized. She kind of knew what was happening and gave me a weird look and said, Oh, do you want to go to the toilet? Off you go. I strolled calmly out of the classroom. And then I sprinted to the toilets like my life depended on it. As I was running, the feeling became worse and worse and I started to panic. I kept running and I started to think about these voices in my head. The first one being my teacher. Oh, do you want to go to the toilet? And then I was thinking about my brothers. Don't ever go to the toilets. They're gross. Can you shut up? I stormed into the cubicles and went to the furthest one for some weird reason. It's like I just wanted to pee myself. I went in, locked the door, sat on the toilet. I made it. But then once I finished, I realized something. My underwear was still on, and that's how I peed myself, on the toilet. So after this, I didn't tell anyone, and I didn't go to the office to get a new pair of underwear. I kind of just went on with my day. Gross, I know. And no one noticed, and then after school, when I went home, my mum didn't notice. And I kind of just got away with it and never told anyone. Until now. Hey guys, I hope you all liked this strange video. If you guys want to stay up to date with what I do, follow me on Twitter. Also, a big thank you to everyone that has made fan art for me. I didn't expect to get any this early from you guys, so it really means a lot. And yeah, if you guys would like your fan art to be shown on the channel, just send it to me on Twitter and it'll be in the next video.